welcome to the vlog. I'm in the car as you can see and I've been waiting to start the vlog because I thought I was gonna get stuck in traffic and I was like, that'll be a perfect time to start the vlog because I'll be sitting in traffic. But no, the traffic has been flawless and I have made it into the city and honestly like a, probably a personal best. But I am currently in Parnell and I am heading out for dinner with someone very special. I'm heading out for dinner with Hannah. Some of you guys, most of you guys probably will know who she is. I'm sure that you would have seen her, that bus just ran a full on red line. I'm sure many of you would have seen her TikToks. She does lots of budgeting, lifestyle, faith based TikToks. And I met her at the TikTok event that I went to in July I want to say. And we've been meaning to catch up since then and we finally managed to sort it out. So we're going out for dinner. We're going to, originally we are going to go to Freeman and Gray in Ponsonby. They do like six dollar pizzas. And we're budgeting girlies and so that was very attractive. But then Hannah got a opportunity to go to this place called Plan B in Parnell. And have a free feed in a place what's better than cheap free. That is where I'm going now. I've never been in out- 450 meters, the destination is on your right. 119 Parnell Road. Thanks, Siri. I have never been to out for dinner or anything in Parnell before, so I have no idea where to park. I have found such a good car park. I'm parked on a hill and this is not gonna work. I was worried that I was going to park somewhere like far away and I'd walk by myself in my car in a random suburb and I was like, ah, I know it's Parnell, but like, uh, I don't know. But I found a park, like the restaurants which are like, pretty much right there. That's Pitta Pitta, it's like on the other side of Pitta Pitta. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'd remind me of following along with my skin journey. Not a very good day to show you guys because it's actually on the mend and it's like so much better than it was. I'll try to put in a photo of what it looked like at the start of the week. I was not thriving. But I went to the dermatologist, got some antibiotics, but I have to take my antibiotics half an hour before I eat. So, I have the antibiotics and I need to take them. I should probably text her and say that I'm here because I said that I might be late because of the traffic, but I'm not late, so praise Jesus for that. Just got here. Waiting around the corner in my car, so well, let me know when you're here. Hey! <laughs> we literally spend the whole dinner together and I forget to vlog, and now I'm like getting a video of you with your head like in your car boot. <laughs> but anyway, guys, okay. this is Hannah in her car boot. Hi guys. <laughs> She's um, rummaging around to try and find me a book. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm just like putting your car boot on show here. <laughs> it's so messy. <laughs> Okay, there's dear future for you. Oh my goodness. And I, just, uh, I am going to give you dear me as well. Oh, you're so, so kind. You're going, oh my go. goodness. Okay. This is like Christmas. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, they're stunning. Be gone. That's dear future. Oh, oh my goodness. This is like a little promo, guys. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to like this down below. And that's um, dear me. Oh my gosh. So it's a bit more colorful and stuff. That. that is stunning. So which one? The dear future is the first one. Yes. And then dear the me is the first OG one. one. Wow. And that's dear me. <gasps> Brand new. Oh Came my god. Came out like a month ago. I'm so excited. Good morning guys. Happy Saturday. Last night was amazing. It was like catching up with an old friend. Like the conversation was just immaculate. Anyway, today's Saturday and Sage has just arrived and we're gonna go do two things. Firstly, we're gonna go vote. Today's the last day for that. So we're gonna go for a walk up to the local school, place our votes. And then we're gonna carry on walking to the cafe and get some Brick ball. It's gonna be breakfast. I'm just trying to figure out what to like. Is this too much pajama? Like I feel like that's kind of like if I don't like that's massive. Like I feel like that is just giving pajama vibes, and it probably needs an iron as well, which I'm not prepared to do right now because Sage is downstairs waiting for me. Also, skin update. It's even better this morning. I'm like 90% of the way there now. It's just a little bit around my lips and a little bit here. But apart from that, I'm so excited. Brunch is done, and it was so good. I'm not really like a a big breakfast brunch person but I was hungry and it was delicious. I've just done a little bit of cleaning and now mum and I are going into do some shopping because we need a duvet cover for the camper van. It has to be something that's like gender neutral, wouldn't matter if it got dirty like that sort of thing so it needs to be something nice and versatile so we're gonna go to Briscoe's and see what we can find. Still can't decide if this outfit is getting pajamas or cute beach day vibes, unsure. That is the ambience of the water blasts in the background, Dad's washing the camper van, but we got back from our little trip into town. We didn't really get that much to be honest, but it took so much longer than it should have. I was planning on spending the afternoon studying, but we didn't get home until 2.30, so I've been studying since then, which was an hour and a half ago, but I'm still studying, a lot of studying to do. Mum's cleaning out the freezer and she said there were heaps of edamame beans, and so I'm going to have edamame beans for afternoon tea. Here we go. 
little snack. This is my little sit up. I'm currently learning about exercise and stuff. So I've just done a bit on machine weight, stability, body weight, and now I'm on free weight exercises. Got my little learning bits here. Got my duck keeping me company. It's 20 past four. I think I'll keep studying till like six. Then I need to wash my car and then I'll have some dinner and then chill out for the rest of the night. It is quarter past six and I just finished my studying for the day. We're calling it a day. I also had to move on to my second book. I'm gonna go and clean my car while there's still some daylight because it is, she's a bit dusty. I kind of want to try going live on TikTok. When I went to a TikTok event last, not last year, no. In, it was like July, like two months ago. The same event where I met Hannah. The whole event was basically based around encouraging the creators to do live videos on TikTok, which I've never done before. Personally, because I don't feel like I'm super connected with my TikTok audience. Like you guys, I feel like we're best friends. Instagram, we're best friends. TikTok, we're merely acquaintances. I don't know whether this is gonna be a home of people who just follow me and know nothing about me and that's gonna be really foreign because I feel like we've built this relationship, you know? Like I don't want to have to start with the like icebreaker questions, but you gotta start somewhere. So I don't know, could be interesting. Never done it before, maybe tonight's my night. I've been meaning to do it for a while, but I wanted to wait for my skin to get better just so I didn't get questions about that the whole time. I mean, I feel like my skin's in a good place now, so I feel like I feel like it could be a good idea. Also, if you're an OG, you remember these cushions. This cushion belongs to this couch, which I feel like in terms of my life, this couch, this couch, oh, you can't even see the couch. This couch is as iconic as the friend's couch in terms of sneak flat. This is the sneak flat couch. Forget the friend's couch, this is superior. And this couch is my best purchase that I've ever made in my life. It cost me $350 off Facebook Marketplace and came with a free dirty sock. Good morning guys. Wow, that's really bright. Like the ground is like reflecting up on my eyeballs. Let's just move into the shade. It is Sunday and I am in activewear because... Oh, Sage just replied. Sage and I'm maybe Matt and I are going out to do Camp Sladden out in Clevedon and we're going to go to the market afterwards because I'm going to church tonight instead of the morning service. I just texted Sage and said, do you guys normally, because I did this quite often and I've never done it before. I was like, do you guys normally walk or run? And she just replied and said, ha 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 definitely walk so fabulous because if it was running I would have sat that one out. I want to be a runner I'm working on it well not right now but I'm gonna be working on it. Now I need to decide because I'm in tights and the sun has now come out to play and I feel like because it's a spring day now that the sun's out the temperature's just gonna go whoop. So now I'm gonna find out if she's wearing tights or shorts because I don't want to wear shorts by myself because I don't want to be the only one that's cold you know. Okay Sage is going for the shorts option so I need to match the vibe. Alrighty outfit is changed. I really need to get some more colourful like to wear. Right? This is pretty pretty boring. We're gonna switch over to the phone vlog for the next wee bit because I don't have to take my camera for a hikoi up the monga but I will see you guys on the phone vlog on the phone vlog in a second. <laughs> As you can tell by the fact that my curtains are closed and the mood lighting is happening. It is now night time. It is 9pm. I'm going to bed. And I haven't vlogged all afternoon. Sick. How did I spend my afternoon? Sage and I went and did our little walk, went to the market. The market was amazing. I haven't been there since the start of the year. There's so many more stalls. Got a bit of a haul, got some kombucha, some like juice, some pretzel, bread avocados. We had a right little shop up. It, w it was amazing. Then we came home and decided the bread that we bought, we'd use it to have lunch with everyone. So my brother's flat came over. We all had lunch here. It's fantastic. Best sandwiches. The bread that they had at the market was from Daily Bread, like the bakery. I've heard so much about that bakery, but that's about all. I've just heard about it. <laughs> Didn't know anything else about it. And can confirm the bread was delicious. I think it was like a seeded sourdough or something but it was delicious spent in the afternoon oh we watched the like world champs of squash which my brother used to play squash so that's about as far as my squash knowledge goes but it was actually really interesting to watch and a kiwi guy won too so that was great then we decided that we were going to clean out the garage which was always going to be a bit of a mission if you've ever been if you're my friend you've been to my house you know that our garage is just Not the tidiest space that you've ever seen in your life, but I have decided that I want to reinstate my home gym that I used to have, but like 
times 10. So watch this space. So excited about it, but we need to clear some space. So we kind of started that process today, which was semi-successful. And then I went to my friend Gabby's house and some guitar practice for some praise and worship stuff that we're trying to bring into our connect group. And then went to church and it was amazing. The message was so good. I was like, not going to lie, this afternoon I was like, I can't be bothered going to church. Taya and I had a little miscommunication and then she ended up going this morning and I wasn't there and it was just... I was like, I don't really know if I want to go. And I knew that it would be good for me. So I was like, God, please just give me a little bit of enthusiasm here. Anyway, it ended up being amazing. The service was so good. I went up for my first altar call that I've been up for in like the longest time. And it was amazing. 10 out of 10 day. 10 out of 10 weekend, actually. It's been so good. But I need to go to bed. Got a big week ahead. But it's a long weekend next weekend. And I'm so excited. So anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you met around the video, comment a heart emoji. There's so many colors. Pick your favorite. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, the All Blacks just scored a try. <laughs>